Hey. Let's see if I can uh, bring this guy up with that tractor or uh, tractor tools direct. Pretty interesting. Bear with me. Recess. Pretty awesome. This is Tom. Hey, Tom. It's George Jettick. Hey, how's it going, George? Okay. Um, I was driving over here, and I was thinking about what you were telling me, and uh, you know, you kind of process it, and it's like, uh, it's pretty awesome. I I really like that uh, uh, that you guys are actually considering doing that, and uh, uh, for picking up hay. Um, I think a lot of people would like that. Um, the way you guys are thinking about doing it with this, you know being able to pick the bales up underneath just uh you know i even four or four bales and then you could stack a bunch on top you got 10 bales and geez it's just yep. you know i like that i really do and i appreciate you guys uh you know considering me kind of being the prototype guy uh i i like that i you know um kind of you know makes you feel good that you know something's happening because of your of your thoughts you know Oh, absolutely. Our owner has thought about it for years, and he just never had the really the time and the, you know the resources to do so. So I just kind of re reassured him that hey, there is an interest out there, and I I believe like we kind of talked. I think that's a great idea as well. Um, and it was just a, about an hour conversation between me and the, you know basically our our engineer in the back, and he just started. I gave him some ideas to to kind of work off of. We both wrote up a couple sketches and. Uh, it was just a quick, a really quick process, but he actually got uh, some pretty good uh, calculations done the other day, and uh, I think he's going to be coming in at two o'clock today, um, and I'll kind of ask him and get an update from him as well. But we've got a couple of those projects going on, and we'd like to do more of those this year and next year. So this was just a perfect project to start uh, to start on, kind of that that whole trend. So we nice. definitely appreciate it. Well, you know, I. I like I said, you know, in our conversation the other day, you know, I, I, I know there's a, I know there's quite a, a, a trend towards um, the smaller farms, the hobby farms, the homesteaders, and uh, so I think you'd do well having that on, on your website as well, it's just so people know, hey, after all these bales are on the ground, how do I, I got to go around and get them, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, and that would be a, kind of a neat addition, you know. I absolutely agree. I, mean, I yeah, think. you have the hay wagon, and you have a couple other ways to do it, but we, we I think we can make this fairly, fairly, you know, affordable and uh, and not too bad. And I think it'd be worth it for a, for a good amount of customers out there, and it would be quick and easy, and well, you can still have the baler on, and yeah, just I, I just think there's a whole bunch of pros over cons for that for that idea. You think about it, if even if a guy was a little ways from his farm, um, thinking well. I got a well. You can have a hay wagon out there, or a smaller one, or whatever. Your tractor can pull, and you can take the same idea, and then just have the same outfit go up there, pick these bales up, and then you can place them on the wagon, and uh, and drag the wagon home afterward. And it's loaded. It's, the tractor's picking them up. It's still a, a a really good idea. You know, either way, even if you're close to the farm, you just bring them back, or or just load up a wagon with the tractor, doing it with your um, you know, the invention that you guys are thinking, it, it, it's pretty cool, I think. Me too. I'm, I'm right there with you on that. I think more than, more than just me and you so far, we're, we're, there's a couple of us in the office here that are kind of, uh, excited to try to see what, what we can make out of it and see what we can make it look like. And, uh, All right. we're definitely going to try it. We're going to try it. So don't, don't worry. Okay, good. Um, and I hope you actually make it before we come out, you know, so I can, 
And if you guys are thinking about it and you want to see how it works, uh, you know, you're welcome to come here or, you know, basically um, we could have it filmed um, and you could have somebody maybe come out here that, you know, you want to do it professionally, have it filmed where it's actually, you know, loading on a wagon and, uh, and or bringing it to the barn. Um, you know, um, that would be okay with me. Uh, just tell your owner, um, you know, I guess it's still Pat, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah and absolutely. It's okay if you want to have it filmed professionally so that you can add it, this kind of thing for, uh, you know, a few minute video that you can add like you have with your balers and stuff. That'd be cool. You know, I'd be, um, I'd be willing for that too. Or I can do it myself somehow, you know, I, I do filming, but, you know, if you want to have it professionally done, you know, or something, you know, that's okay. Just, just, just let, you know, just putting that out there for you. Awesome. Well, yeah, I definitely appreciate that. We could, uh, I could always bring up in a meeting sometime that we could do a collab video too and kind of help each other's YouTube channels out. That's, uh, that's definitely not out of the realm of what we do. So, yeah, I think that, that's not like a possibility for the future as well. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, then, um, I'm pretty excited about that, just to let you know. <laughs> uh, cool, very uh, cool, very cool. And, um, okay, so, anyway, I wanted to give you Mark's uh, name and address so that you can, you know, uh, send him, uh, him a copy of the invoice. And, um, you sure. Get okay, it's Mark. Gotcha. Alrighty. And so, do you want me to, um, on the invoice, uh, what would you like for me to have on that invoice? Anything spe specific or, um... I would say that, you, you know, you know, obviously the three pieces of equipment, it's like you sent me pretty much, and, um, uh, I, I talked to him about it, that you guys would, you know, wish to have 20%, and I said, you know, you could probably calculate that yourself, and he goes, it's $2,000, George. I go, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> I, said, I go, yeah, right, I'm sorry, <laughs> because it's like, you know, and I said, okay, yeah, so he's probably just going to send you a $2,000 check, you know, for the 20% down, and then, uh, okay. and um, so that you know we're serious, and uh, we're, we're going to be doing this, and um, I'm pretty excited about it. I want to see this happening. I, I, I have a feeling that a lot of people are going to want to buy these little bales. And, um, I, you know, I'm feeling good about it. That's all there is to it. So. Perfect. Well, hey, we, we like that. And we feel good about it, too. And we're here to help out through the whole process. So I guess just so you know what would happen after you guys send us a check for the 20% down is that we will then go out to the warehouse and uh, basically get your equipment ready to ready to go for pickup. So um, essentially what we'll do, and you said you're tax exempt, correct? That's right. We asked, we are a tax exempt farm. Yep. Okay. I'll make sure to put that on the invoice as well because you are going to pay for the rest of it in the warehouse. So we will have a tax exemption paperwork um, to fill out whenever you guys show up here. Um, and then we, in the meantime, between that, uh, we will have your items tagged with your name on it. Um, and then uh, you'll be up on my board here um, in my office. And then, I, of course, we will all be looking forward to, uh, to seeing you here and showing you the machines and through the warehouse. And I'm sure we'll have a, a great you know, relationship here in the future, too. There's plenty of things that we can work together on. Great. I, I, when we get out there, I'm, I'm definitely going to want to, you know, have you guys go over them with me. Maybe I can get a little a few pointers, you know, so that I'm not in the dark when I'm all of a sudden setting them in the ground, you know, I mean, on ground, so, uh, that'd be great, you know, I, uh, Oh, yeah, well, any questions you have, we've got one of the bailers and one of the rakes, and I think we've got a, a Harrow and a flail mower out in the, the showroom now, um, and I'm assuming we'll, we're going to try to get a, one of the drum mowers out there here soon as well before the season gets too busy, and, yeah, so, uh, we'll, we'll, we should basically be able to show you 
all the pieces of the of the puzzle. And if you have any questions while you're here, you can ask away, and you can fiddle around with what we have set up. And we're uh, we're we're pleased to help you. So any any way possible, if you have any questions, even when you're when you get home, if you forget something, um, we'll get you set up with the PDF files. And if you need anything printed off, we can print off anything for you. And there's a any, any questions we'll be able to take care of, so no worries on that. Uh, I do have one right now. Um, bailing twine. Uh, should we buy some from you, or is it what? How we? How? How is that? Uh, what? Where are we buying that? Sure. So we sell basically three types of twine, um, and essentially this machine has two twine tensioners, so you can use different kinds of twine. So essentially, you can just buy twine locally. We tried to do that for a reason. Uh, we didn't want to make it hard on anybody to have to buy twine just from us. Um, and I don't think that's fair if we, you know, made a specific twine right. for a machine. That, you know, I just don't think that's fair. So you can use any twine you want. Um, it does come with a, a sizzle type twine. It's actually a June twine that's going to come with the machine. So you get uh, one roll of June twine. Um, and then we can either use sizzle twine or you can use poly twine. It's actually... Um, Certain twines just need a little bit more tension on it to help uh, to actually operate the, the arm itself. Um, but other than that, it's, it's pretty simple, and we can go over all the twine features and the twine arm and how it operates and how you reset and anything that might happen. Uh, we can always walk you through and, and have you do it here on the machine that we already have set up. So. Oh, all right, cool. Um, if you could, then... Um I know that's a lot what you said, but I was wondering if you could actually, in your uh, letter to Mark, um, explain something about the twine. You know that you can buy it locally, or and but we'll go over it with you, and you know you can buy it some here if you'd like. Uh, just a simple something like that to him. Yeah, absolutely. And so, in our twine, just so you know too, is uh, all has free shipping. So the price is on our website. If you looked at our website for some twines. Um, we even have twine here in, in the warehouse that we don't have on our website as well. So um, we've got a whole wide variety of different kinds, but uh, basically what it comes down to is the prices you see on our website do include shipping. So if, for what it's worth, uh, if somebody around your area wants to get more money for twine, if ours is cheaper, then by all means let me know. Um, or if we're close and we need to be you know, a little bit lower, just let me know as well, and I'd be more than happy to work with you on, on Twine for the future, too, if you guys prefer to get it from us. Okay. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate that a lot. So we could buy it from yeah. you. It's free shipping. Yep. All, All right. The price is on our website for parts and Twine and NetWrap and basically any parts or added, uh, added kind of extras um, all have free shipping. Uh, I would appreciate if you would, you know, Put that in there, and to in, in you know sending that to Mark because he he would see free shipping, and if he can buy it for cheap there, and he can say, well, I'm going to buy you know a pallet from you or whatever it is, because that's what he'd want to do for the year or something. I don't know. I'm not saying he will, but he could, and sure. uh, yeah, you could say it's free shipping, and you want to buy twine from us, and you know that kind of thing. He would uh, really appreciate that. The more he knows, the better yeah, no he, he likes it. So um, he's my finance guy. Um, he's helping me get this farm going, and I, I'm really appreciate, appreciative of what you're doing, and you know, for him too. He's 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 been a great guy for me. So, um, uh, awesome. all right. So thanks, Tom. And uh, I'm really, again, I'm really you know looking forward to seeing what you guys uh, manufacture there. It's a really pretty cool. So I, I'm looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, well, uh, me too. Me too. I'll keep you. I'll keep you updated on it. Um, for what it's worth, and uh, I'll try to, I'll try to at least let you know if we, if we actually make one. I can always send, take a couple pictures of it and send them your way. All but, right. Uh, I will talk to our engineer that's making it. Um, his name is Jake, and uh, I'll talk to him today and see what time frame he thinks he can actually get a prototype done and do some stress testing um, to see if we might be able to get one. I, I would say that we should probably be able to make one of those before May, but it just depends on what's all on his plate at the moment. So. Okay, all right, well, here's to hoping then. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, cheers. <laughs> yeah, cheers to that. All right, cool, I, I really... Will, uh, I'll get this sent over to Mark here today, um, basically whenever we off the phone here, I'll go ahead and get everything printed.
it off, and I will send them his way. And you guys will just want to let me know that you got it okay. I will. Um, and then I would suggest uh, one of you guys do send the check, and I'll put this in the email as well, um, to send it pretty much via priority mail. That way you have a little bit of security there on the check, and you can have a tracking number. Uh, that way it's just a little bit more secure for both sides there. Okay. All right. Just uh – yeah, mention that in your uh, the quote too. Uh, then, then he'll he say he's pretty good about things. So um, um, I'll uh, I'll mention it to him also. Okay. Sure, sure. Well, hey, we, I appreciate it, George. If you have anything else, or if you have questions, just uh, feel free to give me a call or email me anytime. All right. All right. Thanks, Tom. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Take uh, care. All right. Bye. I just want, I just wanted to um, film that. Uh, I mean, it, obviously, it was just listening to. Uh, his name is Tom Whiteman, um, and he's from T Tractor Tools Direct. And the idea that I gave them, um, you know, I. A lot of people say, well, you should have made it yourself. I get it, you know, but I, 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 I'm pretty happy with what's happening. Uh, uh, I talked to Pat, the owner, and uh, a few years ago, as I have studied these balers before, and uh, he's, um, he's still the owner of Tractor Tools Direct. And, uh, hey, if they develop a... a a device that you can go out there and pick up bales. These bales, um, you heard me. I mean, I can, uh, I can. Uh, I'd like to have that filmed, and it'd be pretty awesome to tell you. So, I wanted to let you listen to that conversation so that you'd know that that's what's really happening here. Um, and I'm pretty excited. I'm hoping they have one of the prototypes made so that uh, when we go out to um, uh, Indiana to pick up our baler and mower and rake. We can pick up, uh, you know, the bale spear. It's actually not going to be a spear. I don't know if you heard that. It's going to be two prongs that go underneath the bale, the bales. Because, as he explained to me before I uh, filmed this, um, having the spear like you know we you do with the big round bales. Of course, the re big round bales are, you know. A few hundred pounds and then uh, they're actually you know when the tractor goes into it it's not going to go but he said these bales or you can you know 40 pounds you put the spear into it might just shove the bale along so he they want to have one that goes just underneath it picks them up and uh which is great you know <laughs> but the idea of, of having them take my idea and making it and putting it into production pretty cool I might get the prototype and uh, they might come out and film or I could film it and then they'll be on the website their website and there will be a nice little Massey Ferguson doing that the 1526 so <laughs> it'd be kind of awesome so anyway a little long they heard it from, heard it right from uh, tractor tools direct all right catch up with you